why you guys are having so much success? Um, I think definitely the preseason. Preseason was great. Our freshmen came in with the attitude that, you know, even though they're freshmen, they're just going to play hard. I think we all worked very extremely hard in off season. We had a talk of where we want to be in the future, and that's definitely the NCAA tournament. So I think it's all fan off. When we talked to you when you first arrived on campus, you were very optimistic and full of hope. What did you see then that has come to fruition now? Um, just our hard work and our effort. We have a lot of talent on our team and a lot of depth, and I think that we use that effectively in the game. And just our hard work is, is really paying off, and that's why our record is where it is. Where is the confidence level right now that you are – you guys are seeing how that hard work is paying off when you face adverse situations. Uh, I think our confidence has remained the same. I mean, we have two losses against two great teams. Um, our record, I think we're, we're happy with where we are, but we don't want to get too comfortable. I tell them never get comfortable. Um, me coming from Louisville, being on the ranked team, it can easily change overnight. We just want to stay ready, stay working hard, and if we continue doing that, the rankings and everything will work out itself. You've gone up against some pretty talented scorers this year already, LaShawn Higgs, Janai McKay. Mm -hmm. How do you, what do you take from those matchups and apply to uh, Sophie Cunningham for this upcoming um, game? I love challenges, and I'm definitely a defensive player. So when I face those caliber good players, I just challenge myself to, you know, limit them and take away what their, their strengths are. Um, I try to do that the best way I can with McKay last night and with the other great guards. So I plan to do the same thing in the Missouri game. And so she's pretty tall, 6'1 for a guard. Mm -hmm. How do you turn that height advantage for her into a disadvantage for her? Um, well, she's pretty tall. I mean, when you dribble, you got to keep the ball low. I'm already short enough. I'm right there. But um, I, don't, I don't even think I'll be guarding Cunningham. She's not their point guard. So, um, yeah. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, um, what have you brought to this team? Um, I think I bring energy. Uh, I'm a competitor, um, confidence, uh, and I know how to get my teammates going. I know how to talk to each and every one of them. I know what gets. I, I, I just, I just know, I just know them very well, and I think that comes from off the court, um, hanging out with them, and then it comes from that long season I had to sit out and really get to know them. So I think it's my job is pretty easy because of that. Similar question, what's your description of your, you as a player? Intense, are you a leader, are you vocal? What's your description of yourself out there on the floor? A tense, leader, and vocal. <laughs> <laughs> you, hit it, you hit it right on the lid. <laughs> How about Joni Taylor? Give us a description of what she's been doing this season that's been working. Coach has just been being coach, trusting herself, trusting in us and putting us in the best position we can be in to be successful. She knows everyone's strengths. She knows everyone's weaknesses, and she puts us in good position. She doesn't put us in a situation where we're not going to be successful. Missouri's a pretty good defensive team, held quite a few opponents to under 60 points. When do they do so well on that side of the ball? Um, I think they play great scouting report defense. Um, they really expose teams' uh, weaknesses just by watching a lot of film and playing good scout report defense. Y'all have already played some, some of the top teams in the nation in Texas, Mississippi State. Even though those games were losses, does that give you a little more confidence going into this game? Um, yeah, we definitely took those games as lessons. They're, they're, the, top, that's, they're the top teams in the country. Um, so we learn from those games. Um, I still watch those two games to this day because uh, I know that we're going to grow off of those off of those losses and I believe that we'll see those teams again one day. How about uh, the reactions around campus? People starting to take note and are you seeing the crowds grow and grow? Yeah I definitely am seeing the crowds grow. Um, the student section is starting to come out a lot more. Um, I think it's from our football success though. I think uh, you know once our football team start winning they're like oh let's go check out basketball. Let's go check out Georgia women's basketball. So it's definitely a family environment here and I love it. I love it. What do you think about the revitalized arena and the change and upgrade in aesthetics? How has that helped the home court advantage? Stegman looks beautiful. From when I first came here and it was all red, um, it definitely, I think the black and just the new graphics they put in there really brought it out. Um, I think my team and I, we just play so hard because we want to see Stegman field one day. We want to 
you know, sell it out just like it used to be. So uh, that's what we try to do. Anything else? All right. Thank you, Tasha.